Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are about to perform the correction burn for the deep space uh, orbital probe. This is hopefully going to be its new trajectory, which will result in this awesome arc straight out of the solar system. I am super excited about this and at a cost of only 1600 meters per second, which is actually kind of within our budget because we still have some um, the fuel here on the probe that we will uh, have not yet spent. Uh, our note is in 10 hours to avoid screwing it up. I am going to wait until the actual burn time to commit. So let's time warp go. Oh, we're about to get a warning from Kerbal Alarm Clock. Yeah, I think our next launch is ready to go, but it's going to have to wait for just a few more hours. Boom. Nope. Earth Jupiter transfer point. Yes, we know. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Kerbal Alarm Clock. I should have done something about that, huh? Okay, 43 minutes. Good. I pulled out of that time warp okay-ish. 20 minutes. Alright. At about the 3 minute mark, let's ullage our engines using the H key. Thanks, Simulation Gaming. You guys are awesome. Very stable. Here we go. looks like uh, this side of the spacecraft is certainly heavier so what I'm gonna do is actually unlock that tank to help burn some fuel off from that side first in hopes that it offsets our weight difference still drifting. Come on, ye ullage engines. Or ye thrusters. Wow. I'm having quite a day today. We cannot be very inaccurate here. And that's all she wrote for that. Decouple. Signal will take about five seconds to get there. There we go. Ah. Uh, KSB has crashed. Okay. <clears throat> well, we recovered from the crash. Sort of. Uh, the node was a little messed up. But uh, the spacecraft seems to be in good working order. We're just going to do a radio systems check. It'll take about two more seconds to get there. And we'll also boot up everything and make it look super nice. All right, we don't need that right now. And we're probably not going to score any good science points here. But it does bring us into our operational state, which I think looks really cool. Yay for this cool thing. Very Voyager-esque, I would say, uh, is intentional. All right, I'm just going to verify that all of my fuel tanks are in fact unlocked. Yes, I do realize they are uh, all unbalanced. And we need to plot a new node to get our desired trajectory with uh, Jupiter. 
add maneuver. It's in an hour. Oh, wrong button. So, <laughs> our current encounter with Jupiter looks pretty silly after uh, most of the burn is done, but you'll see this is our current, what will be our current telemetry, which is nice, but not exactly what we want. We want to leave the solar system, and although coming in on a completely polar trajectory is cool, it is not what we want to do. So, we're going to just start tinkering with nodes, flinging some stuff around. Uh, that's not terrible, 122 meters per second. Does that get us on an escape? Uh, I would say yes. So that's our current, that's our resultant. We're going for it. In 1 hour 22. I think we can honestly do this now. We're just going to keep our view here. Uh, I, I don't think I actually activated the engine. Let's take a quick save, just in case everything goes all haywire again. There it is, quick saving. Because I'm starting to wonder if this engine is the problem. Alright, engine is active. And it runs, thank goodness. Alright. So, we're just going to keep our viewpoint here. We've got like 700 some odd more meters per second left uh, in the tanks after this is done. So I think we'll probably make another plane change maneuver, see if we can't score another flyby, although I kind of doubt it, but it doesn't mean we can't try. Uh, I need to adjust that cloud thing, Jupiter, I keep forgetting to do that, because that just looks so weird. It's kind of ruining the majesty that is Jupiter. Mm, this thing's a bit more responsive than I thought it would be. There we go. Only four tenths of a meter per second off, but for our gravity assist, we are on course. It's going to throw us very clear of the solar system, and that will be fun. I can't wait to see uh, if it's a different biome out there, outside of the sun's SOI, and uh, what kind of data, if any, that we can retrieve from there. I really hope the creators of RSS have you know, figured out something to that degree, but this gravity assist is awesome. Uh, you see our inner solar system there is getting a little crowded, so we might have to go through and clean up some of our wasted uh, spacecraft. Maybe. Kind of deciding on exactly what that means. Like, the, these two Ares Explorer probes are pretty much junk. These two have failed and are never going to get to their target, but I might leave them anyway. These two we can certainly get rid of. They're just chunk stages with nothing to do. Anyway, I'll do all the uh, janitorial cleanup later, but uh, that's going to do it for this uh, somewhat interrupted episode. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. I will see all of you tomorrow.